Good morning, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. The topic of our class is quadratic equation. We have formulas. Success criteria. Students are able to solve problems involving the rules quadratic equations. Apply Vieta's formula to solve problems involving quadratic rules. The first question is, what is the general form for quadratic equation? Alina, can you tell us? The general form of quadratic equation is AXY plus BX plus C equals to zero where A, B and C are real numbers. At what we have to find a discriminant. Yes, a formula to calculate discriminant looks like discriminant appears to be sway minus four times a times c. If discriminant is more than zero, we have two solutions. If discriminant equals to zero, we have only one solution. And if our discriminant is negative, we have zero solution. The solution of quadratic equation looks like x equals to negative b plus y square root of discriminant divided by two times a. Thank you, Alina, for your answer. Please sit down. Now I will be showing you how to understand and apply Vieta's formula. But first of all, we have to know who is Vieta. François Vieta was a French mathematic whose work in new algebra was an important step towards modern algebra. Due to his innovative use of letters as parameters in equations, in mathematics, Vieta's formulas are formulas that relate the coefficients of a polynomial to sums and products of its roots. It was discovered by François Vier. The simplest application of Vier's formula is quadratics and are used especially in algebra. So what's, what's Vier's theorem tell us? Vier's theorem tell us. Please write down. The general form of quadratic equation, as we told before, is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, with coefficients a, b, c. Of course, they are real numbers. So what will the stereo tell us? The sum of the roots x one plus x two equals two negative b over a, and the product of the roots. One example. We have x squared minus p x plus x equals to zero. As we know, some of the rules will be x one plus x two equals to negative b over a to b five. The product of the rules. A to B six. After that, we using the system of equations. X one plus X two equals to five. X one times X two equals to six. After that, you can get the rules. Please try to. 
gestillt. This will really help for the next problems that we are going to do. Let's talk about the first. Your first exercise will be x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Can you find the roots of equation using Vieta's formulas? Please try to do it. Amanjo, did you get it? Yes. Please, your answer. From the coefficients, we can get a equals to 1, b equals to negative 3, c equals to 2. x1 plus x2 equals to negative b over a equals to b, c. x1 times x2 equals to c over a to be two. Let's go. Your next ex exercise number two. Given that the roots of the equation x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals to 0 are alpha and beta such that alpha less beta find the value of alpha squared plus beta squared, please. Here we have to use Vieta's theorem. Jana, your answer please. From the coefficients we can get a equals to 1, b equals to 3 and c equals to negative 6. This gives us the sum of uh, roots to be a negative 3 and the product of roots to be negative 6. To find, the sum, uh, to find the sum of square roots we can consider the Consider the square of of, uh, of the sum of roots. Rearranging this equation, we can get uh, will get <coughs> alpha squared plus beta squared to be to this uh, to be to the uh, the sum of uh, roots square mean minus two times the product of roots. Subtracting the numbers in, we will get twenty one. Oh, well done, Yana. Thank you very much. Sit down, please. Your home task will be, please, try to find x power 4 plus x2 power 4. Here come x1. It will be your home task. Dear students, I hope today you have got created stereo. And the solving of quadratic equation will be simpler than it was before. Thank you for attention. See you on Tuesday. Bye.